problema. And more talking plant action. I can't see you properly, come closer. Evil gave him the ability to become a uh, to talk with plants, but actually he became a plant himself. Dream piece. Dream jewel of Frey was once worn by the fairy of sunlight. Candle, bottle, spam. Hello, hello. I'm Mero. You are the fairy I seek, yet you look like a plant. Who are you? I'm Fay of Wish, proud wife of. Fidget, who is the son of Evil and Tangle. I'm ordered to meet you, Faye, but first I'm freezing. Please light the fire. Uh, I would, but uh, first I need something to uh, with which I to light fire. I can give you a match and tell you which uh, where to find some logs. Of course. <laughs> Lilith is planning to marry my husband while we make a roaring fire. Of course, give me the match and tell me where the logs are. He has the match you need. There are four wooden logs outside. One. Sorry, I just need to take that first. One, two, three, four. They just magically appear. Three, four. Woo! That's much better. Thank you. That's much better. Though I'm still a bit dizzy. I haven't been myself for a while. <laughs> Abel said you could communicate with plants. She didn't say you'd become one. Science and magic thing. Make for very strange bedfellows. I'm finding it hard to stay on, focused on bot uh, botany when Lilith has taken my daughter. Are you going to help me or are you, go uh, are you the one who needs help? Let me do it. My water is rank and I'm dying for a fresh chlorophyll cocktail. Will you make one for me? Of course, just tell me how. Are you sure you are a mirror? Are you sure he was because you <laughs> Because you're being rather difficult. Okay, of course, just tell me how. Pour the liquid from the, uh, from the liquid plant life into the flask. There is a bottle of it upstairs. I'll go get it right away. Right away. Now this is where I was stuck as I had, because I was a child. I was an infant. I had no idea what he just said. Just kept clicking. Somehow I did everything else. Pour the liquid on. No, no, no. Pour it again. Yeah. You need to heat the yellow liquid up. There must be a heat source. In. Ta da! The liquid is green now. Now give me a shot of that green liquid straight up in my glass. Ta da! Ah, oh, thank you. That's much better. Okay, now tell me again, why do you need my help? Uh, the fairy queen of dreams took my husband and daughter, I must find them. <laughs> Have you grown lazy living here in your little paradise? I need someone who will save my life. Earth must have been in tower dreams. The path is not easy. Reaching the tower will be quite impossible for an mortal. Are sure? Yes, even if... In that case, I will guide you. I too have business with Lilith. Then let's go! It won't be an easy trip. You must follow my instructions precisely. I can communicate with plants, just as Evil does, but you won't receive any more messages for her. Wait, before we leave, I must gather <laughs> the dream pieces I saw here. Go ahead, David. Give yourself a little just with me. Yes, I need to look. Everything is in order. Understand? Let's leave immediately. Can we? Could we leave tomorrow morning? Right now, I'm exhausted. We need to rest after bitching about. Okay. Um, it is time to leave my property, Faye. Take the presents or something else. Mero is guiding me to the Tower of Dreams. He says I will find my family there. I find it hard to trust him as long as I uh, and I long to hear Abel's voice. Da -da. I'm frightened, but I cannot turn back. I'd hoped that, since I was back in the fairy realm, I could hear Abel again. Instead, it is Mero I hear. It is Mero I hear. That is the Tower of Dreams, where Lilith holds your husband and daughter. Though the waters look calm and the distance short, you cannot cross the water without rebuilding that boat. Want 
two, three, four, five, six. I need all the dream jewels. If you I can get one, two, three, four, five, six. I need dream jewels. If you I know that fairies exist. Seven, eight, nine, ten harpoons are going to be in. Whatever. Empty barrel. What is this anyway? Paint. Resin. I see. Resin is blue. I need ores, don't I? Anything else? It's time to cross the water. I try to hear Abel, but Mera tells me to hurt. At last, I can cross to the tower. Mero's voice grates me from the plants around me. I'm certain that Lilith is holding Fidget and Lyra on the top of the, uh, on the top floor of the Tower of Dreams. You must do what no mortal has, enter the tower in freedom, but be warned, within the tower I cannot help you. There's a lot of things here. Voice issues issues from the grass below me. That tree is not important. Come away and enter the Tower of Dreams. For a moment, I feel comfortable, a, comfort, a comforting presence from inside. But then it's gone. I can't see a way to get in. That's because you're lying. Ooh. Dream jewel. Why isn't the Fairy Lord stopping Lilith's evil actions? The Fairy Lord went out on one of his quests but never returned well, that's the fairy lord embarked on one of his usual quests in one of his many disguises during which he routinely checked on fairy functions and took care of farms within the realm after paying a, vis a visit to the fairies of the deep, he vanished. Lilith took advantage of his disappearance by capturing Fidget and putting the, dream uh, the Mortis of Wish under a dream spell. One missing pipe leans against a pair of pillar. That's useful inside. Use That's useful inside, I guess. Okay, am I missing anything? Nothing. Mero tells me, yes, this is the way you must open the magic blocks to, uh, to enter the tower. The walls are on the sides, each contain a lock. Find the hidden buttons that activate them. The Dream Jewel of Montu was created for the fairy warriors who protect the fairy lord. Kablam, kablam. Okay, when is it big tree? Okay, spring? I don't know. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 dun. It's nice t attention to detail that, you know, it's one of the, one of the things are missing. Um. Where's that last one though? Where's the bloody... There it is. Summer! La, la. Enter Tower of Dreams. Here we go. As the doors swing shut behind me, I realize how long it's been since I heard Abel's voice. The tower is silent and menacing, but I must continue and reach the top of the tower to save Fidget and Lyra. This organ seems to be missing some pipes. If I repair it, perhaps I can move to the next floor. This is one of my favorite parts of this game. It's just wonderful. Because it's music the music is so good. I can't keep. So let's see if I can remember. Da 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 da
Fidget used to tell Lyra stories about an organ that could turn dreams into reality. I always thought they were just fairy tales, but now I wonder. Maybe what I dream now can lead me to the next tower, uh, next floor of this tower. It's time to play some music. I remember when I used to put tapes on every single button that moved and I get it was a different time. I mean I put fingers on them so I could remember. Ah, such a good time. I didn't realize there were dream I dream pieces. Okay, let's see if I can still remember. This library painfully reminds me of our old library back in Wish. Now I know where Fidget got his inspiration. He's just a few floors above me. I miss him ter terribly. Meditate! What does the dream librarian do? Blah! What does the dream librarian do? The dream librarian prints knowledge of fairy life into volumes of books. Dream Librarian holds all knowledge, history, and wisdom and uses it to create countless volumes of books in her enormous library. She has, or can find, the answers to every question involving the Fair Realm. Because of her vast knowledge, she is the primary advisor of the, to the Fairy Lord. With the Fairy Lord missing, the Dream Librarian is searching desperately for a replacement. The book that I can't get it open. The books are locked. Fairy librarians can hide secrets in many ways. Letters can hide words and, and their meanings. That knowledge unlocks the secrets. There are five books of a kind. All these books must be prop, uh, placed on the proper shelf. Five books have their titles wrong and show their oopsies. Pop. 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 The, find these books and place them where they belong. Only when all the book secrets are re revealed will the access to the next floor be visible. This tower holds great magical powers where things can hide or be revealed in many ways. These pages can guide you when viewed correctly, while only the crystal ball can open the three books of 
secrets, there is only one crystal of ball and two places you can rest. You must place the crystal ball appropriately to see each book's secrets. This is just like the library back. Oh, she just said that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up. Mythology. Is that five books need to be placed? There are five books of a kind. Oh, of a kind. Just books of myths. Undersea. Book of night. Do it yourself books. I guess the fairy books are just. And then what's it called? Um, water books. Book of night. I guess fairy books are just. What's it called again? Miscellaneous. Book of fire. The book of fire! Oh. That's interesting, because that's the last. That's supposed to be the last installment of this series. But that ne never came to be. Volcano books? No. <laughs> fairy book. Miscellaneous. Games. Dark magic book. Fairy lord book. Oh, yes. Oopsie. No vibrations. Book of myths. Oh. What was it with? History. <laughs> Books of peace. Oh, they're the opposite of they are titled wrong, right? So the Book of Fire is supposed to be the Book of Water? Yeah. Wh why? Book of Night, so day. Do it yourself, books. What dark magic? Games. Self help. Weather. Weather. Poetry. Just do it randomly, man. The bookshelf won't take it. <laughs> Where do you come from, Kanaijo? The sun, of course. I guess some fairies know firsthand what. Do fairies eat mushrooms or use them for. <laughs> War. Okay, the Book of Peace goes there. Dark magic. Is that an empty... Where else is there a slot? Here? What? Dark magic is... What is the opposite of dark magic? Good magic, right? Oh. No vibration. I guess we don't need that anymore. Ooh. The magical band must be unlocked for you to continue. An ancestral locking spell is capable of hiding magical instruments. The instruments remain invisible until the uh, user discovers which instrument is which instrument is which. The magical band will not perform until each instrument is in the right position and each has the correct score. Chase just chess game lock. Chess two can lock what you desire and hide what you seek. For all the sequence, find the correct order and your opponent loses a piece. Fail and you lose a piece. To win, your opponent must lose all their pieces. Armors are locked. The fairy knights hold the key to places beyond. These knights, like their ancestors, are more complex than they appear. Armor can only be donned in the correct order. Some armor pieces cannot be found without the armor and must be found in the surroundings. Oh no! Now this is annoying, I got stuck here as well. The music room is in disarray, which instruments belong here? Perhaps the book is in the library. Today. With each floor's puzzle that I unlock, I feel a move closer to fit in there. Why do I not feel them? This is the annoying part, because you get all these things. The stands. The... I used to be not able to find them. See? That one! I think that was the one that got me stuck once. Yeah, I played this game multiple times. Sue me. Ta-da! Stand. Oh, paper, paper, paper. God. Hold on, let me just... I can't do that yet. Okay. Let's just do this. Air. Percussion. X. 
Stick on top. Air. Mechanical violin. Two pieces. And strings. Zanfona, Rebeccan bow. Mandolina. Dulzena. Pandero, Chickaton, Caracla. Ta da! This is funny. That noise. Caracla. Ooh, got it already. Caracla. It does generate beautiful music later on. But not currently. Downstairs, one, two, three, four, So many. Bloody hell. There's always gonna be that one piece that's missing. Oh, ta -da. Oh, God, I'm missing still some. Mm -hmm. Rebecca Bow. Rebecca Bow. Oh, that's correct. Whoopsie. Pandero. <laughs> Getting the vibe. The beats. The Dozena. The Delzena's sweet voice has been used to lure the. My doorbell's ringing. I'll be right back. The Caracla not only entertains fairies, but also drives away those who do not belong. Hmm. So is it gonna drive me away? So I'm getting Delzena as this one. Yep. So I just need two more pages. Wait, I need to look at these. When the Fairy Lord returns, the Dream Librarian will beat the Pandero loudly. Rebecca Bow. The stringed instrument has the power to summon fairies who have strayed. Hmm. Ancient fairies played this stringed instrument beneath the Tree of Knowledge, the Sanfona. So if I play this, summon fairies who have strayed. So does that include Tangle and Evil? Maybe... Fidget. I did glimpse pass through this. Ah, ah, ah. God. Is it gonna be? Yep. Oh, there. There's one. Can't believe I missed it. Where are you, you fecker? Maybe if I pick these up and I can see... Uh, let's just look at this thing. Okay, Mera's pursuit of science not only angered Lilith's mother, but made Mera the victim of many of his studies. His experiments were not always kind to him and sometimes fairy magic crept in and thwarted him. Or was it Lilith at work? Lilith will not gain full power over dreams unless Fidget marries her willingly. This is... this I learned from the plants. She is telling him that you have given up. She is making... Making plans for a very wedding. Once she marries him, no mortal's dream will be safe. And you will never get fitted back. Mera's cottage has been, at times, a sanctuary for fairies escaping. And from them, he has learned ways between the mortal and fairy worlds. You can see there are some of those fairies in pictures in his, of his, on his walls. There too, you will find a picture of Mera. I hope he has not changed himself into something strange. I hope he has not changed himself to something strange again. Well, he has. Hurry, Faye. The crystal ball shows me that Lilith has taken Lyra. 
She has hidden your grand, uh, your daughter, my beloved grandchild, somewhere in the fairy realm. Find Mero, you must go to the fairy realm and find your daughter. The plans tell me that Lilith has imprisoned Fidget in the, t in the Tower of Dreams. Without, uh, with every minute that passes, Fidget starts to doubt more. If he weakens further, he will be Lilith. I am filled with hope now that you have helped, uh, you have Mero to guide you, but the fairies have you, he helped, surely confided in him. But remember, Mero has no fairy powers. When Lilith's mother took them, she swore she would never restore them. No mortal has ever entered the Tower of Dreams before. Even Mero, because of his loss of fairy status, cannot answer and enter. But he can tell you much about the secrets of fairy locks and traps. If you find fairy volumes within, read and learn all you can for all the fairy secrets you have been written there by the Dream Librarian. I sense Lyra's presence. The plans tell me there is a void in the fairy realm. Has this been caused by Lilith's voyage to the mortal world, or are other forces at play? I only know that every loss in the fairy world must be replenished to keep the balance. You must find Lyra. I am suspicious. Why has Lilith not thwarted Mero? Is there another agenda that we, uh, we have not considered? A debt he owes her. I have spoken with the plants. They will help if they can. Be careful, Faye. The plants are telling me secrets they are here to for unheard. Long ago, the fairy lord created a book that contained his wisdom and bits of powerful fairy magic that no other fairy possessed. Two copies exist. One he kept and another, and the other he gave to Mero. Mero took his book with him when he left the fairy realm. He hid it somewhere on the grounds of his cottage, protected by one of his devious locks. For many years, the book and its secrets were kept we're safe. Okay. Where the fuck is the- OH MY GOD! Are you kidding me? Yes, the music's beautiful and all, but was it worth it? <laughs> chess pieces. I just started to teach Lyra chess before this all started, but I'm, f I'm a pretty strong player. But Lyra was learning fast. Well, I'd better fix these chess pieces. No doubt, I need to win to reach, uh, reach the next floor. The dream jewel of Ar Arachna was a gift to Abel's mother, fairy queen of all creatures who live in Flora. That's a mouthful. This is not normal chess, thankfully, because if it's normal chess, I can lose within a few steps. I misclicked. Oh. There we go. Oh, dream piece. 
Aha! You can't fool me. Ah, now this is the annoying one. These. So many parts. I think I'm close to the top of the tower. All I have to do is put the statues back together. What did the book say about them? There are too many pieces of them. The most annoying part is when you get it wrong, eventually. It goes back to where you found it. What is it? This one? There it is. I need legs. But, uh, thankfully though, if you find the piece downstairs and you do it like this, it goes up. <laughs> Which is nice. What did it say? These knights are more complicated if your armor can only be donned in the correct order. Some armor pieces cannot be found with the armor and must be found in the surroundings. This is fun. It's like teleporting. Maybe I've missed it. There we go. Leg. Put that there. Leg. Leg. That's not my order. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, yes, yes. Inventory. Which one does this go to? That's, this is that. This one is the rusty one. Yes. goes there. This is another shoulder. There it goes there. Shoulder. Shoulder. Head. Arm. Arm. Head. Shoulder. top of the tower, but Fidget and Lyra are nowhere to be found. I try to hear Abel, but Mero is louder. Faye, you reach the dreamer's room. Lie in the bed and go to sleep. Dream about your beloved husband and daughter, and when you awaken, they will be here. Sounds shady, man. And I'm so tired. It's been ages since I could rest. Just rest. Mero's promise that I'll dream of my family sounds so tempting. As I reach the bed, however, I hear Abel's voice. Faye! You're in grave danger. Lilith has made a pact with that treacherous tube met Mero. You must escape now. They've been silencing me, but I can help you now. <coughs> Jump out the window! I close my eyes and jump out of the door, tower window. Sorry, um, the, the evil's vines catch me and lower me to the forest for the room. Mero's betrayal has failed. Evil is guiding me now into the forest to finally save my family. Here we go again. Evil's voice fills me with warmth, even though her toad is worried. 
Fidget and Lyra are inside this tree. Return the windows to the correct place to enter, but hurry, Lilith is up to something. Meditate! What does this all have to do with my fairy? Lyra could be the chosen child because she is the daughter of a fairy and a mortal. Yes. Fairies have inbred for centuries due to their system of arranged marriages. Few have gone out into the mortal world to ha live, if, live as mortals, and those who have are generally shunned. Long ago, Tangle and Abel fled to marry for love and raised their son so that he too could marry for love. Fidget lived as a mortal but has pure fairy blood. Faye and Fidget's daughter, Lyra, therefore, has mixed blood and may be the only hybrid who exists. Thus, Lyra may be the chosen child destined to become the new fairy lord. According to the clock starting at noon, the right order color is red, blue, yellow, green, purple, and black. 21. When the fairy lord vanished, his book vanished with him. Lilith wanted his book, this book, which contains magic no other fairy has. So in disguise, she visited, visited Mero, and with all her means, found and stole the book. In the crystal ball, I see Lyra. She is with Fidget. They are in a dark place where Lilith has hidden them. I fear Lilith's plans. She is the most vengeful of fairies, and at her most dangerous when she does not get what she wants. Spoiled. The plants are your friends and my children. You can always trust them. When you doubt, turn to them. For me, when I am conflicted, they are like listening to my heart. If the plants are not speaking, remember to trust yourself, dear Faye. This tree holds more than secrets. Long ago, Tangle and I sat beneath it and shared all our thoughts, as had many, many fairies before us. Unlock its secrets and bring Fidget near a home. Back to the life we shared many dreams ago. Dream piece, isn't it? Oh, yes. This one is like this. Think. Yes. Here we go. Into the last level. Fidget. At last, I have found Fidget. I have traveled so long and so far, uh, and far waiting for this moment. But he is under a sleep spell, and Lyra is not beside him. Evil, please help me. Oh my goodness, that is Lyra's teddy bear. She slept with it each night. Mero has vanished. He is somewhere in the fairy realm, and so is Lyra. With Fidget by your side, dear Faye, your quest is to find your daughter. Only a potion of roots can revive Fidget. Is that anything else? Abel's voice speaks warmly from the wood. You're nearly there, dear child. Fidget is safe, but under a sleeping spell. The eternal tree will watch over him, but you must solve this puzzle to find the potion that will awaken him. Place the gems in the correct sequence. Green goes to the on the bottom. Green, purple, black, Red, blue, green, purple, black. Oh. Nice. And 
here we go. I hate to walk away from Fidget, but I must find the potion to wake him. The potion must be in this dark labyrinth. This one, here we go. Ah, I was here, am I? And then go here, and then yes. This one's open. Chest. A chest of doubloons! I'm here right now, so... Key. husband fidget is finally awake the little spell is defeated but she has taken our daughter our darling Lyra. we will wander the fairy realm and the mortal realm we will stop at nothing to recover our daughter you have reached the rank of advanced fairy Eternal. Ooh. Having solved all eight dream jewels, I see a glint of what lies ahead. Tell the brains of the cell. Search. What? I didn't see that. I saw the chosen child, though. That's the next game. But that's the end of Dream Chronicles 2: The Eternal Maze. That has been an amazing experience for me, and I hope it has been for you too. But now I'm gonna have to sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you guys in the next video, goodbye!